In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law says that the initial number of moles of a gas divided by the initial volume of the gas is going to be equal to the final moles divided by the final volume, assuming that the pressure and the temperature of the gas remain constant. So Avogadro's law applies to a gas that's either changing the number of moles or changing in the volume or both. This problem is a little bit trickier than some of the other problems that we've solved similar to this. In previous problems with um, a, an equation like this, we've just been given three of the four variables asked to solve for the fourth. It's been pretty straightforward. If you quickly look at this problem, you'll notice that we've only been given one number in this whole entire problem, um, which kind of initially might make it seem like we've only been given one variable. And we just have to think a little bit harder about how to solve this problem. So this problem is telling us about a chemical reaction that's taking place. And the first thing that we want to do is write this out in a chemical equation. You're probably not gonna be familiar with the reactants and the products that are in this problem. You're going to want to use the internet to look them up. So just Google, what is the chemical formula of methane? And you will find that it is CH4. Google, what is the chemical formula for chlorine gas? Don't just assume that it's Cl. Chlorine gas is actually Cl2. Also, take um, this one you might be able to guess, hydrogen chloride. If you're not comfortable, just Google it. Hydrogen chloride is HCl. And then last but not least, carbon tetrachloride. You might be able to get that one from its name, CCl4. But again, feel comfortable using the internet to look these formulas up. So this is the chemical reaction that's taking place, and it's completely a gas phase reaction. Everything in this reaction is a gas. This reaction, if we look at it pretty quickly, we can see that it is unbalanced. So the first thing that we're going to do is just take care of balancing it. One carbon on the left, one carbon on the right looks good. Four hydrogen on the left, one hydrogen on the right. So I'm going to put a four right there. Two chlorines on the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chlorines on the right. So we'll put a four right here. So here's our balanced equation. Now let's go back to the problem. It's asking us to calculate the volume of hydrogen chloride that's gonna be formed. So this is going to be like, we're curious to know about the final volume of hydrogen chloride. That'll be our V2. Um, what volume would be formed from 3.63 cubic meters of methane? So this is going to be our V1, 3.63 cubic meters. Cubic meter is definitely a unit of volume. So we know that we have the V1 variable. We know that we're trying to solve for the V2 variable. What about the N variables? Um, well, these variables are going to come from the stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. And we're gonna be matching the, the numbers, um, N1 and V1, we're gonna match those up to the same molecule. So since V1 applies to methane, N1 also applies to methane. Since V2 applies to HCl, N2 is also going to apply to HCl. So like I said, this is a little bit trickier just in terms of getting this um, information into Avogadro's equation. But once we get it figured out, we're able to kind of move forward and solve the problem relatively simply. So N1 is 1, V1 is 3.63 cubic meters, N2 is 4, V2 is our unknown. I'm going to rearrange this equation using this mathematical property right here. V2 times 1 is equal to 4 times 3.63 cubic meters. And then we can simply solve for V2. It is, uh, Alex wants this to three significant figures, so that's going to be 14.5. And don't forget the unit. It's telling you um, this is another one of those problems where you have to enter the unit in yourself. Make sure that it has a unit symbol. 14.5 cubic meters.